Like most of the makeup I used today on my face was gratis that was given to me. I have been working at Sephora since about around Halloween time. I was hired a couple days before Halloween. Um, I was actually hired before that, but my first day on the floor was around Halloween. I remember because I think it was my second or third day that I was working there. We had a zombie week and um, it was for the weekend and the, the week before people had dressed up on that Friday so the next Friday I assumed people would dress up for zombie week so I went in it's like my third shift to work I want you know to make a good impression to show these people that I kind of know what I'm doing you know so I went in with like zombie makeup um, like full-on zombie makeup because I wanted to be spirit you know in the spirit of my Sephora and the Halloween and just like keep the vibe going for Halloween and nobody else dressed up so I was like the new girl, not only was I the new girl, but then I was like the only person with the zombie look on her face and like I scared some children that day, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, anyways, I got hired around that time, so I have been collecting gratis for about two months now. Um, now granted, this was my first two months that I've collected gratis, so the vendors aren't as friendly with me as they are with other people. Now the people who give us the free makeup are the brand rest the brand representatives which are the people that are hired through the brands not through sephora they usually give you stuff to try out and stuff because they understand that makeup can be expensive and a lot of people walk in and everyone has different makeup that they try so they give you stuff to try out so you can sell to people and you you can actually know what it feels like what how to use it and all that good stuff you guys probably already know what gratis is you probably already knew that we get that but yeah, I just wanted to show you what I got because every store is different. I work at a high volume store. I'm not downtown, but I'm pretty close to downtown in Houston. I actually, I don't want to give away the Sephora I work in because that's kind of weird. Um, I feel like it would eventually get out there anyways, but I work at one of the bigger malls in Houston. So it just gets really busy in there and we get a lot of clients that, you know, make money and they buy more expensive makeup so i've heard and this is just rumors we just have like really good gratis just compared to like suburban sephora's like my sister works at a more near local suburban sephora that's like literally right across the street from where she lives and her gratis is great too but she also heard that our gratis was better so i'm i'm just waiting to see that as i keep working so i just wanted to say like if this doesn't seem like a lot to you it's just because i'm new and if this seems like a lot to you it's probably just because i might work at a busier sephora than you if that makes sense so anyway so i used a couple of the stuff in the video today um focus come on okay so one of the things i used was the translucent powder this is huge it comes with so much kat von d came out with this around October I feel I'm not really sure it might have been before that actually um, But this is just a translucent setting powder. I like it a lot. I like how much comes in there for $35 Cats is like a prestige makeup, but I like how her I like her price points. They're not as high as other brands um, I use this as well. I am a huge fan of the matte formulas from Urban Decay even the glittery ones too but I had been dying to try this out so i'm glad i finally got a chance to use it today i started off using my metal matte palette but it didn't have like the right shades of gray that i wanted and then i felt stupid because i had forgotten that i got this for gratis so i used this today i'm just quickly showing you guys all of what i got it's like a little gratis haul i guess um i also use this mascara better than sex mascara they gave me this one And then they gave me uh, the original as well, so original and waterproof. I have never tried these before, so I'm really excited because everyone raves about it. I'm just not the type of person to spend $20 on a mascara. I believe that's all I used in the video as far as gratis. Um, let me just show you of everything else I got. Okay, so I got one, two, three, five lipsticks, um, two Sephora brand, which I actually really like the Sephora brand lipsticks. They have a lot of different colors, so they gave me this one. I already swatched them, sorry. I couldn't resist. But they gave me this one, which is a nice sheer coral. I'm honestly probably going to give that to my mom because I don't like wearing sheer colors at all. This one, on the other hand, is a pretty everyday color, so I'm probably going to keep this one. It's like a dusty, everyday rose color. And... That's that one. It's just really soft. Um, just like an everyday 
color to the lip. And then I honestly, I don't know when I'm going to find the time to wear this, but Dior lipsticks, I'm probably just never going to use it and just keep it because Dior lipsticks always look so freaking beautiful when they're new. I swatched it and instantly regretted it because I'm like, mm, I'm never going to wear that. But it's a nice like classic red heel. I'll swatch it just for y'all real carefully. It's like, a, it's too bright of a red for me. I like more like dark, truer reds. This one's just... Yeah, and I don't know anyone who would wear this, to be honest. This one's another one I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear. It actually stained my hand from yesterday. But it's a Clinique. <laughs> Clinique. The Clinique um, Pop Liquid Matte Lip Color. And it's in color Boom Pop, which is at the end there. It just never really completely dries down to matte, so I might wear it if my lips are chapped or something next fall because the colors just really fall. I remember picking this out around October, November, and I I, I wish I, I should have gone for the nude one, but I was just in a fall dark lip kind of mood, so I got this one. And then by Beauty, not by Beauty, and what's it called? Nude Sticks. Um, they sent me this one. It's kind of wonky, but super pigmented super pretty i can see myself rocking this next fall too but yeah so those are the lipsticks i got as far as mascaras um i got these two other ones which are um they're real by benefit which everyone always raves about this one as well and then perversion which i've tried um, and then i got another clinique mascara which i'm giving to my sister and then a night cream which i'm not going to show you guys it's one by alginist it's like a firming and contouring one which i don't really need i just have darkness under my eyes not really puffiness or anything um if anything i have like it gets more hollow than puffy so yeah but i got these two mascaras so i'm pretty much set on mascaras for the next six months and then I got these three eyeliners. I was so excited about this grandiose liquid liner. I would never spend 30 bucks on a liquid liner, but this freaking, I mean, it bends, which is really dope. And then the packaging is flawless, like so beautiful. I am probably only gonna use this on special occasions because it's so pretty and I don't wanna run out of it because I'm probably gonna keep the packaging, I don't know. We'll see, it's just so pretty and I just, mm. And then I got one of these pencils by Lancome. Um, it's like a super pretty coppery color. So I can see myself wearing this next fall, even in the spring maybe. And then a Bobbi Brown, is this black too? Night Sky Sparkle. <gasps> oh my gosh, I did not know it was sparkly. Dude, I thought this was a plain black with liquid liner, but it's it's sparkly, look. That's really pretty. Man, I would have worn this today if I knew. This is so pretty. Okay, and then the last two cosmetic things I got, which I was actually really excited about. I would not have spent money to get this because I'm not a lip gloss person, but this lip gloss is so beautiful. I'm probably gonna use it on my eyes or on my face as a highlighter more than a lip gloss, but it's just, the pigmentation of it is unreal. It's the best gold gloss I've ever encountered in my life. And it might look good on like darker skin tones. It might look a little wonky, like the more pale you are. But either way, it just, it's so beautiful. So I'm excited about it anyways. And then I don't really like cream highlighters all that much. So I'll see if I can give this away to anyone, but this is really pretty. It's, um, which color is this actually? Is it Moonstone? Oh, it's Champagne Pop. Okay, so it's Champagne Pop in the cream form. These actually just went on sale for 14 bucks if you wanted to get some. The rest of my gratis is just skincare. I got the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner, which I heard is great for really oily skin. So for oil control, it's a toner. Um, when you use toner, it also helps prevent oxidation. So that's really cool. I'm excited to use this. They also sent me a oil face oil from the same brand, UFO Ultra Clearing Clarifying Face Oil, which I'll probably like this. Um, it has 1.5 salicylic acid, so we'll see if I like it. Usually my skin doesn't like that that much but we'll see, we'll see. And then a Drunk Elephant C Firm Day Serum, which is awesome. I love vitamin C, using vitamin, 
I love using vitamin C on my skin. Usually it makes a big improvement. My skin loves vitamin C. And then I got another eye cream. Already said that by Algenist. But this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's the full size. The full size is a little bit bigger. But I'll take any eye cream that I get. I'm using Strivectins right now. Um, and I just use it because I got it for free. Uh, but I use it because it's it's all preventative, people. Like, I wear makeup on my eyes, so I use night cream to kind of prevent any wrinkles, wrinkles from happening. Any wrinkles from happening. So, yeah. Um, oh, and then I got a locket, the concealer but they gave me a really light shade and they actually gave my sister a darker shade so we're just gonna switch those i could not find it in her makeup bag at all i went through it so i didn't want to make a mess so that's the only other thing that i got that i did not show but yeah that's it i was super super happy <laughs> like yesterday i posted like the longest snapchat story of me just looking through everything because it was my first gratis haul and I don't know, it just made me feel so happy and I'm really excited to keep working for Sephora and just move up in the company if I can. Because right now I'm just a color consultant. I've been meaning to make a video on how to get hired there, but I feel like it's not that hard to get hired. But I would totally make a video talking about the interview process if you guys want to see that because it was actually a really, really lengthy interview process. I went through four interviews to get hired. I'm not sure if it had to do with my store, my location or anything, but it was just kind of tedious. So if you guys want to know about that or any of the other jobs that I've had, I would not mind sharing my work experience at all because I'm finally in a place where I feel like I'm going to stick with this job for a while. And um, I actually got a car that was I wasn't filming for a while because I was actually doing like adult things. And then my family came into town with all the holidays. It was crazy and overwhelming. But I ended up getting a car a couple two weeks ago or so. And um, so I'm going to get another job soon and make time to film as well. I'm hoping that I don't slip on it because when I get busy sometimes I don't film as much but I don't think I will because I find myself drawn to the camera more than I used to be in the past. But anyways, I'm just rambling now. Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic year. I know my year was a little bit rough. Judging by the internet and all the memes that I see, I'm guessing you guys might have had a rough year too. But 2017, I mean, there's always opportunity every year, every day actually. So hopefully next year is better for all of us and um, things get a little bit better. I know that things are crazy with everything, like just everything going on in the world is crazy right now. But I'm just hoping that 2017 is a year for like change. Not just in my life, but for everyone. I don't know. There's just so many great things to look forward to. So, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new here. Bye. Love you.